Hello, this is Elachimi Kantiwari. In today's tutorial, we will learn about the 10 Internet of Things protocol you must know. You know, nowadays, Internet of Things is uh, one of the hottest area. It has been predicted that about 50 billion devices will be connected with the, each other by 2020. So here in this tutorial, we will learn about the 10 application uh, protocols which you can use in your uh, Internet of Things project. So the very first one is obvious choice is Wi-Fi. Currently, the most common Wi-Fi standard used in homes and many businesses is uh, IEEE 802.11n which offers a serious throughput in the range of hundreds of megabit per seconds to the gigabit per seconds. Uh, which is fine for file transfers, but maybe the too power consuming for many IoT applications. So it is not recommended to always use uh, high power consuming Wi-Fi devices. Uh, a series of uh, uh, a series of Wi-Fi development boards are available on the internet. You can find from Texas Instruments, ST Microelectronics, or with uh, some other um, uh, manufacturers. So the frequency range of this Wi-Fi uh, is 2.4 gigahertz and there is another 5 gigahertz bands are also available there and the range of this Wi-Fi is approximately the 50 meters uh, it can go around the 100 meters and uh, their data rate is around uh, the 600 megabit per second maximum but generally uh, 150 to 200 megabit per second is more typical depending on the channel frequency used and the number of antennas uh, have been used on the board and another choice is Bluetooth and uh, it is one of the most important short range communication technology and uh, which has become very important in uh, computing and many consumer product markets and uh, it is expected to be a key for wearable products in particular again uh, connecting to the IoT uh, probably via a smartphone in many cases uh, specifically this uh, a smart or a BLE is uh, not really designed for file transfer and it is more suitable for a small chunk of data transfer especially used in a band and smartwatches. You know according to the Bluetooth SIG a special interest group more than 90% of a Bluetooth enabled smartphone including iOS, Androids and Windows based models are expected to be a smart ready by 2018. So the frequency used by Bluetooth is 2.4 GHz and the range of Bluetooth devices are around 50 to 150 meter in a smart and the BLE range and uh, data rates is uh, around 1 megabit per second in a smart uh, bluetooth or bluetooth low energy and uh, the next protocol we are going to discuss about the LoRa now let's discuss about the LoRa LoRa is a long range radio wide area network and uh, it is designed to provide low power WAN with the feature specifically needed to support low cost mobile secure bi-directional communication in IoT and machine to machine and smart city and uh, industrial application. Uh, it is uh, optimized for low power consumptions and uh, it supports uh, large networks with uh, millions and millions of devices and uh, its uh, data rates range from 0.3 kilobit per second to the 50 kilobit per second and it supports uh, various frequency ranges and uh, uh, physical range is around 2 to 5 km in urban environments and 15 km in a suburban environments. Zigbee is uh, another one of the most important protocols which is widely used uh, into the Internet of Things. Similarly, it is also operates um, on 2.4 GHz like Bluetooth and uh, Wi-Fi and uh, its standard is uh, Zigbee. 3.0 based on IEEE 802.15.4 uh, standard and uh, its data range is around 250 kilobit per second and uh, its physical range is around 10 meter to the 100 meter this Zigbee or RF4CE has some significant advantage in complex systems offering a low power operation high security robustness and uh, high scalability with a uh, high node counts and is as well as a position to take advantage of wireless control and sensor networks in machine to machine and IoT applications. Z-Wave is low power RF communication technology that is primarily designed for home automation 
for products such as lamp controllers and sensors among many others. IT is especially optimized for reliable and low latency communication for small data packets with the data rate up to the 100 kilobit per second. It operates to the sub 1 gigahertz band and it is impervious to the interference from Bluetooth or Zigbee. It supports full mesh networks without the need for a coordinator node and is very scalable enabling control for up to the 232 devices. Cellular is another choice, here IoT application that requires operation over longer distances can take advantage of GSM, 3G, 4G or a 5G cellular communication capability. While cellular is clearly capable of sending high quantities of data, especially for 4G, the expenses and uh, also power consumptions will be too high for many applications. So uh, the frequency range which we use into the cellular is 900 MHz, 1800, 1900 and 2100 MHz and it ranges from 35 km for a GSM and 200 km for a HSPA. And its data rate is of course vary from kilobit per second to the megabit per second around 35 uh, kilobit per second for a GPRS and 3 to 10 megabit per second for LTE 4G support. NFC near field communication is another technology that enable simple and safe two-way interactions between electronic devices and especially uh, applicable for smartphones allowing consumers to perform contactless payment transactions, access digital contents and connect electronic devices. Essentially, it extends the capability of contactless card technology and uh, enables devices to share information at a distance that is less than 4 cm. So the standard, its standard is ISO, uh, IEC 18003 and frequency is 13.56 MHz ISM band and its maximum range is 10 cm and data rate is around 100 to 420 kilobit per second. So another alternate to wide range technology is Sigfox which in term of ranges come between Wi-Fi and cellular. Its range is around 30 to 50 km in rural area and 3 to 10 km in urban environments. Uh, it uses the ISM bands which are free to use without the need to acquire license and it transmits data over a very narrow spectrum from uh, connected objects. It consumes only 50 microwatt compared to 5000 microwatt for cellular communication. Sigfox technology is already deployed in tens of thousands of connected objects into the UK and the network offers a robust, power efficient and scalable network that can communicate with millions of battery operated devices across area of several square kilometers making it suitable for various machine to machine application that are expected to be included smart meters, patient monitors, security devices, street lightings and environmental sensors. Similar to the concept of Sigfox, it operates into the sub gigahertz band. It has especially 4-5 bands, 900 MHz, 458 MHz and 470 to 790 MHz white space band. Uh, this NEOL uses a very small slice of the TB white spectrum uh, band to deliver high scalability, high coverage, low power and uh, low cost wireless network. These systems are based on uh, uh, ICNE chips which communicates using the white space radio to access the high quality and its data range is few bit per second to the 100 kilobit per second. Six low pan is internet protocol based technology. Uh, it is low power wireless personal area network. Rather than being an IoT application protocol technology like a Bluetooth or Zigbee, this six low pan is a network protocol that defines encapsulations and header compression mechanism. This standard has a freedom of frequency band and physical layer and can also be used across multiple communication platforms including Ethernet, Wi-Fi, uh, 802.15.4 and sub gigahertz ISM band. Key attribute of this 6 low pan network, it uses IP version 6 stack which has been a very important introduction in recent year to enable IoT. Uh, IP version 6 is a successor to IP version 4 and that offers approximately 5 into 10 power 28 addresses for every person in the world, enabling any embedded objects or device in the world to have its own unique IP address. Especially it is designed for the home or building automation. So these are the introduction about 10 Internet of Things protocol. 
which you need to know about and uh, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more video tutorial subscribe this channel to get update directly into your inbox